hello today I'm here with a new video and I am here with the first impression today and the palette that I am going to try today is the Yuvia Place the Saharan by Yuvia's Place I have had this for a while now and haven't tried it and I want to try it with you so I'm going to try this today and it looks like this if you have missed it I think I want to do use this black one I like never use black shadows and maybe use this these two so this and this and the black one but I don't know and they look like this so I am left the makeup wipe and I don't know if I should start with the black one or not and I think I maybe should take one in my crease. Okay, I think I want something in my crease. And I think I will take this shade. Katsina. And start with that. And I have all my brushes. Because I think it will be a little too harsh if I just go in with the black. So I... I think I will start with crease color and now <laughs> more makeup wipe. So I start with an eyeshadow base as normal. And I said this in my latest review video or first impression with my Juvia's Mini Masquerade palette I think. I know how the shadows perform from Juvia's Place and I know that I love them. I love the matte shadows and also the glitter and shimmers. I know that so I'm not it's like not a real first impression because I know how these shadows work so yes I think I will sit like this is this good? so I will start with Katsina this brown matte shade it's only for it's 12 shadows and it's only for matte it's this Katsina Chad, Jamila and Sokoto Sokoto uh, all the others are shimmers I don't know if this is going to be too dark or not I think it's good So I'm focusing, focusing, in. <laughs> I focus on the outer corner. I usually like to have my crease color very, very high up. Maybe that's just me, but I know it's not. But this one, I just because I'm going to have black. I don't want it to be such a harsh line between the black and my eye. So I take this and hope for better. Can you hear the people outside? <sighs> this I am a little bit afraid of. I will take Shad, this black one. And I will put this on my outer corner. And I don't know how pigmented this is, but it looks... The shadow is black on the top. But it looks pretty pigmented and it is... I don't want too much. I really don't like black eyeshadows because it feels like they can ruin so much I think I'll just leave it like this and if you see here I got quite a lot of fall downs okay I it, it looks like two different eyeshadows I didn't want the black to be that high Okay, I take this brush that I had in my crease and see if I can 
fix this a little bit. I will take the Katsina, the brown one, and blend this out, hopefully. <laughs> I almost dipped into the black one. <laughs> this, I think it saved it a little bit. This is why I don't like black, because you can't cover the black one. If you take too much, you take too much. Okay, I don't like this. Um, but I think I will go with my foot on this one. And then I will take this Fula. I think it's pronounced Fula. Um, this is actually a word in Swedish. Fula. That means ugly. <laughs> if you wanted to know. And I will take it on a smaller brush. And this I just want in the middle here and then I want to take the lighter shade okay it feels like this is going to be so messy oh fudge banana because I don't want the black to take over Okay, I think I maybe can save this. <laughs> I look like a sad clown or something. Okay, now I will take um, this one. It's called Lulu and I will take it on my inner corner. And hopefully this will brighten everything up a little bit. Fingers crossed. This is not so bad as I first thought it was. I just have to take this Fula and blend it out to the black a little bit more. Because this actually brightens up the black a little bit. So that's good. And now I go back in with this this one, the brown one, and put it in my crease again, hopefully this will blend out a little better. And I think it did, I really think it did that. Okay, I think I am pretty pleased with this, it, it maybe didn't turn out the way I thought it would, but I think I like it. Um, I have to uh, fix this because I have lots of fallout and with the black one I did tap off the brush but I got some fallout and with the glitter shade sh shades when it comes to Yuga's place I think their glitters are like the best glitters I know or the best shimmers I know. You can use them without a sticky base, you can use them without spraying your brush but I want to really pack them on so I take very very much shadow on brush and then I have fallouts and I am okay with it because it's me. I think I like this. Uh, I will fix my face and then I will come back and we talk a little bit about a little more about this palette. So away with this and I will come back. So okay the base and the eyebrows are on and now I'm going to take a shadow underneath on my lower lash line. And I think I will take this one. Mm, it's a uh, orangey brown. Brown orangey. It's orange but a little brown and it's Jamila. And I will take this underneath my eyes and I maybe should. <sighs> okay, this with the brushes. I need to clean my brushes like two weeks ago and I haven't so I hope this brush is okay for this. I don't know if this will go together and I think that this works. 
I think it works pretty good. And I also think that I want to take this Iman shadow and put in my inner corner. And... I have this super tiny brush. What is this even? Square detailer brush. It's so freaking tiny. Can you even see it? I will take this then and see if anything have Oh. Okay. And I will put this in my inner corner. I usually don't highlight my inner corner. Okay, so this is the eyes um, without any mascara and I think I like it. It's nothing that I used to do, usually do. Used to do, usually do. Why am I having such a hard time? But I think I like it. And I just can't put on some mascara because I can't have this blonde eyelashes with this one. So the mascara is on and now I'm going to take a lipstick and I will take this one. This is the matte lip liquid from Body Shop and it's in the color Nairobi. And I really like this one. I have had this for a while and it's not until now that I have found it in my collection. If you know what I mean. These are a little kind of like the um, soft matte lip cream from NYX. They are a little bit moussey. And it doesn't dry down immediately so you can fix it a little bit. And I really like that. I hate those ones that or like dry from the tube and you can do anything. So this is the finished look. I really like this one. It's not something I usually do um, because I usually don't wear black eyeshadow and I don't usually use two different glitter shadows but I really like this look. I think it turned out good and I love this palette. I love all my Juvia's palettes. I think this was maybe the first one. It's one of the first one at least. And I really really like it. I, I maybe would have wanted some more matte shadows because these two mattes, this orange and this red one, I maybe would wanted some other color matte and this brown and this black but it's a really good palette and if this was one of the first one I understand why you guys get so popular because this is really good palette and I really like it so yeah I like this palette and I don't know why it's taken me so long to use this and I will have I have one more Juvas place that I haven't tried I have tried it but I don't have make a video on it and it's the Saharan 2 and I don't know this is one of the nine pans I don't know if I should not do a first impression but maybe do a review video of this instead because I have used it a couple of times but I don't know, but back to this palette, I really like it. This is maybe one of the more toned down UVs in one way, because it's not so much crazy colors. It's all very variable, wearable colors. So this is maybe one of the more normal palettes. I don't know how to describe it. I hope you get my point and I really like it. And if you have have you wanted to buy it? Buy it. Um, yeah. I really like this one. And yeah. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you do, did, please press like. Why is it so hard for me to say that? And also, if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do. So you don't miss any of my videos. So I will see you in the next one. Bye.